Hello, you guys are getting ready with me today. We are doing sort of like a date night type of thing and I wanted to do my makeup, hair, and outfit and what are we doing today? I have no idea what we're doing today, honestly. I think we're just gonna go out maybe to Tampa. But you guys like the last get ready with me? I didn't really call it a get ready. It was more of like the makeup, hairstyle, and out for the wedding as a wedding guest. So I figured I'd do something for a date night. Uh, I just applied some leave-in care conditioner by Saints and Sinners. Love this stuff, I talk about it all the time. And today I washed my hair with a cleansing shampoo. It's by Briogeo. It is their uh, charcoal one, I believe, mint charcoal, so good. And then I used their deep conditioning mask, the Don't Do Spare one. Love that stuff. I'm gonna quickly do my makeup. I'm gonna keep it very, very light. If you guys have noticed, I've been trying to put some different content on my channel just because, you know, hairstyles, I feel that you can't really grow too much with hairstyles in a way. And I've always been into fashion and sometimes I wanna share with you guys, is it really worth buying expensive stuff or can I actually find something for a reasonable price? So I think these kind of videos, the cheap versus expensive are really great, entertaining at the same time and educational. I mean, I get really informed. So I'm just quickly applying some, what is this? Love this stuff. This is the BB cream by Herborian. It honestly has decent coverage. I mean, it looks really good. Kind of just evens out the entire skin. All right, next is eyebrows. So I've been using a one product, kind of like a one and done for my eyebrows recently. I've been liking them very natural and bushy. This is the Gimme Brow. Love this stuff. It's very simple to use. I have brows, like brow hairs. It's just they're very sparse, kind of laid down instead of going up. So this really helps my brows look voluminous and just very natural without having to fill them in excessively. Just look at that difference. Obviously, I'm gonna clean them up, but such a huge difference. Love this product. Eyebrows are done. Let's move on to the eyes. I like to keep my eyeshadow very basic these past couple of months. I don't know. I've been I go through phases. Sometimes I like a lot of eyeshadow, thick eyeliner, false lashes, and then the next couple of months I'm so over it and I like very simple eye makeup. Obviously, no surprise, my tartlet in bloom. I'm just very quickly and gently setting the concealer on my eyes. And then just using the same brush, two darker shades. Just quickly define my eyes. And I just kind of like to blow it out or smoke it out so it's not perfectly imprecise. Let's apply a little bit of concealer, tart shape. No surprise there, I just can't stop using this stuff. And then I'll take the same brush and I'll spray it with some setting spray. This is actually uh, by Bella Jade. I got it from Amazon. Had really great reviews and I like it. It's really nice. And just kind of stipple it in. I'm gonna quickly set my under eye area with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I just like to pat it in and then just very gently just swipe the excess away. I'm gonna quickly finish off the eyes. I'm just gonna smoke it out just a little bit just to make them somewhat even. And I'm gonna quickly highlight my eyes. Highlight the inner corner. Let's finish the eyes with some mascara. This is by L'Oreal. They're Voluminous Lash Paradise and I am using their waterproof formula. So I got some mascara on my eyelids. I just take a cotton swab and I just kind of rub it in. Just like that. Quick fix. I'm gonna apply some bronzer and then probably just apply some blush and a little bit of highlight on top of my cheeks. You know what, I think I'm gonna skip the highlight on the cheeks and just keep it highlighted in the center of the face instead of the cheeks. I'm kind of digging the matte look. All right, I'm gonna set my face using the same setting spray. Let's do the lips. All right, so I'm gonna be using the YSL. That seems like a really pretty color. 
This is number 16. These are their new lip matte lip stains and oh my goodness. They are incredible. They're so good. All right, I put the lip on. Look how pretty it is. I love the applicator. I love the finish. It is incredible. All right, so I'm quickly gonna do my hair. I'm gonna apply some heat protectant by Briogeo. Again, one of my favorites. I about to talk about them all the time. I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then I'm gonna do my hair. I'm probably gonna do like a Dutch faux hawk, very simple, and then do some really pretty simple waves. All right, so quickly hairstyle. I'm gonna apply a little bit of texture spray or dry shampoo to this portion right here where I'm actually going to braid just because I just washed my hair so it's so super silky and fresh. I need a little bit of texture in it. Woo! <coughs> so I'm just gonna take a little section of hair, looks good enough, and then just divide it into three sections. All right, so under, under, Hold it under and then start adding hair to that little middle section. Grab some hair, add it underneath. All right, let's continue doing this. That's why I like doing these types of hairstyles. <laughs> they're so easy, but they're really edgy. It looks like you actually put in some effort into your hairstyle. And if it's messy, hey, roll with it. I'm gonna roll with it if it's messy. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna braid it off a little bit more. Just to finish it off to the crown, just like that. And then I'm gonna tie it with some hair that's not part of the braid around my crown, just to make sure the braid is nice and sitting low to my head. So just grab a little hair from the back, like so, and just tie it all together. All right, so I'm gonna just very gently take some of this braid out. Let's curl the hair. I've shown this to you guys multiple times already. But if you're new to my channel, this is how I curl my hair with a straightener. Very simple. Grab a section of hair, take your straightener with the opposite hand, clamp it down very lightly, and start rotating it the opposite way and kind of drag it down very gently down your hair. And then I like to go back over and just kind of straighten one to two inches down. That's it. And then I just like to alternate the curls going opposite directions. There we go, perfect. And I'm gonna finish curling my hair. I'm gonna spray a little bit more texture spray or dry shampoo to the rest of my hair, to like the middle, to the ends, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a piecier look. All right. Hairstyle is all done. All right, quick outfit of the day. I'm keeping it somewhat casual. So I have these little sandals by Coach, I believe, and then a cute little skirt, and then this really cute top. All right, I'm gonna have on to show you guys a better look of it. Let's go. All right, we're gonna go try to take some nicer shots by the water. Hopefully it looks good. <laughs> the feet shots? <laughs> the feet. <laughs> See, no. Wow. What? Your hair looks good. All right, you guys. So we're headed to dinner, and I think this is where I'm going to end the video just because, you know. It's a date night, wanna keep it a little bit private. And it's just gonna be the two of us for tonight. And the camera is acting up. I think it's the battery. I've been charging it for a couple of hours and it's still saying the battery is dead. I need to buy a couple more batteries. Sony, you're letting me down with your batteries. I am excited to get dinner. I am very hungry. And thank you for watching this video. You guys seem to really like these types of get ready with me where we're actually gonna go out and do stuff. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.